Hi, my name is Sylvie Patrick, and in this routine, we're going to start with basic exercise on the power plate, static. All of our exercises are going to target upper body, lower body, and core. So we're going to start our power plate right now, and I kept the mats on the power plate, and I'm doing my session barefoot. First thing, I'm going to place one foot on the power plate, and then extending the leg, lift the toe towards the chest, and then bring back the knee over the ankle. So again, flex the toe, bring those hip back, hinge at the hip, and then flat your foot on the power plate, bring your heel right above the ankle. Let's do two more. Last one. Good. And we are switching legs. You can hold at home onto a piece of furniture if you need additional support. So I start with my knee lined up with my ankle. I have one foot on the power plate. And then look, extending the legs, I'm going to flex the toes towards my chest, hinging at the hip here, and then come back to my first position. We're going to do two more. Great. The next one, I'm going to actually turn back to the power plate and then extend my legs on the power plate. So, and then right here, look, I have my toes on the power plate. I'm going to push my heel towards the power plate and come back. So like if I want to extend this leg. You can have a slight bend into the leg that is supporting your body weight. And as you are extending that leg, you can feel the stretch into the front of that leg. Let's switch legs. So I'm gonna go on the other side so you can see but at home, you can just switch legs. Again, I get my toe on, curled onto the power plate, push my heel, extend the legs, and then relax and bend the knee. Let's do one more. Great. It is now time for me to be on the power plate. So I'm going to stand on my power plate and find my happy place, which is bringing my hip back, my feet are parallel, I'm bending the knee, and right here I'm shifting my body weight in the front foot. So again, I'm standing on the power plate, bringing my hip back, my legs are parallel, my feet are parallel, and then I'm going to bend my knee and shift my body weight over the ball of my foot. Now from this position, I'm going to shift my body weight to the heel and then bring it back over the ball of the feet. One more time, to the heel, and I can feel the vibration right here vibrating to my head. Shift your body weight to the ball of your feet. Now you feel the difference at home. One more time, I'm going to the heel and then shift your body weight over the ball of your feet. And now you can feel much less vibration into the head. I want you to stay there and let's go a little bit deeper. Like if you want to sit onto a chair and then come off just above the chair, keeping a slight bent in the knee. One more time, we're going back deep, like if you're sitting into an imaginary chair, and then come back off, still keeping your knee bent. Last one. Sit into that imaginary chair, hold, hold, hold here, and make sure you're keeping your body weight over the ball of your feet, like if you want to go forward. Hold it here. 
for five, four, three, two, last one. Good, perfect. That was my squat, right? So now we're gonna be on the power plate and we're gonna be sitting on the edge of the power plate. Make sure that you're moving your little mat right there on the edge. And then I'm gonna place my hand, wrap them on, wrap them with the finger pointing towards the, the, the floor. Slide your body weight off the power plate and create a slight bend into the elbow. Hold it here. Open your chest, look up, roll your shoulder back. Now I want you to keep your lower back close to the power plate. Hold it there. Hold it, hold it. You can feel the fatigue in the back of your arm. You are right now engaging your triceps muscle in the back of the arm. Hold it here. Still open your chest. Keep your head off your shoulder by really pushing here. And relax. Shake your arm, shake your wrist. Perfect. We are going back to engaging the legs. We're going to now have one foot on the power plate like we started. And then look, I'm going to move that back leg a little bit further back. And then I'm going to bend the knee. Do you see that? I have a slight bend into that back leg. And then my knee on the front leg is still aligned with my ankle. I'm going to be right here and try to balance right there. Not holding any piece of furniture, try to balance. And look, I'm gonna turn my head over my left shoulder and look forward. Turn your head over your right shoulder and look forward. Now, did you keep that back leg slightly bent? One more time. Head turned to over your left shoulder, back to center and then your head turn over your right shoulder back to center. Great. How does that leg feel? You should have felt a tremendous activation right there into that, that, that legs on the top. Now let's switch foot. So I'm going to place my left foot forward and then you see I'm moving my back leg a little bit further away from the power plate. Now my front knee is aligned right over my ankle. And then in that back leg, I'm going to slightly bend the knee and I'm letting go piece of furniture, wall, whatever you're using to get into this position. Right there, keep that back leg slightly bent. And now I'm turning my head over my left shoulder, back to center. Turn your head over the right shoulder, back to center. Make sure you have still your proper form Turn your head over your left shoulder, back to center. Turn your head over your right shoulder and back to center. Woo! Have you felt the tremendous activation here into that leg? It is time to work with your strap. So I'm going to remove the mat because I'm not using it and I'm placing it on the floor for my feet. I'm gonna grab my strap and I'm gonna place them onto my power plate with that little yellow tab and the yellow tab is going right behind the red tab on my strap. This helps you to place both straps at the same level and I'm gonna make sure that the Velcro is engaged by compressing both straps together right there. Good, are you ready? I'm now increasing the vibration on my power plate to three lights. So far, I was at one light. Good, so I'm adding a little bit of vibration. I'm gonna stand on my mat and look, I have my arm extended behind me, holding on the strap, so I'm walking forward until I have good tension on the strap. And then when I'm gonna roll my shoulder back, I'm lifting my heel off the floor. Hold here. This is a great exercise for 
stretching the muscle in front of your chest. Breathe. Keep your body weight on your toes. Heel off the floor. Lean forward and hold. And relax. Good. Now we're going to activate the biceps by facing the power plate. And I'm going to move it to its side so you can really see. I'm still standing on my mat on the floor. And look, I'm going to place the strap right here directly over their anchor point. Slightly bend the knee. I'm still standing on the floor here, but I want to be in an athletic position. And I'm going to pull, palm open, pull on the strap towards the ceiling. Now look at my elbow, close to my body. Hold here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Come on, pull as hard as you can on the strap. Palm open. You don't need to squeeze the handle. I got 10 more seconds. Breathe the whole time. And relax the arm. One more. This time, look, I'm bringing my arm back, the palm facing behind me. I open the palm, open the chest, roll the shoulder back, bend the knee, act, be in an, act, an active athletic position, and I'm going to pull on the strap as hard as I can, open the chest, look forward, pull, pull, pull as hard as you can. Breathe the whole time, don't hold your breath. Last 10 seconds. And relax. In this last exercise involving the strap, we're going to try to stretch a little bit here, the muscle on the top of the neck. So I'm moving my mat. A little bit further because I need to position myself where I have already tension on the strap. You can see here I have full tension on the strap. My outside leg is going to come in front of my inside leg and I'm going to tilt my head away from the strap and look down. Hold. Feel with your opposite hand if you feel the vibration right here at the base of the neck. And relax. Ten more seconds. Last five, four, three, two, one. We're going to the other side. So at home, just turn around, but I'm going to go on the other side so I'm not showing you my back. I create a tension here. My outside leg is going in front of my inside leg and then I'm tilting my head away from the arm that is holding the strap and look down. Hold it here. Breathe the whole time. Feel right there at the base of your neck that you have vibration and relax. Last five seconds. Good. Remove the strap away from your power plate. When you're not using your, pow your power plate strap, remove them so you're not stepping on it and maybe hurting yourself, okay? So make sure you have a clean space around your power plate. My last exercise for this routine is going to be the massage. So I'm going to place my mat on the floor. I'm going to sit in front of my power plate and look, 
I'm going to place the arch of my foot on the edge and massage from the ball of my foot to the base of the heel, massaging the arch of the plate. You can hear increase the vibration on your power plate. So I'm going to place it to its maximum, which means I have six lights on my move. And at home, if you have another model, you can keep it on massage if you have a My5, putting on the increased vibration. And if you have a personal, just increase to high amplitude and then switch foot. Last one for my calf. Look, I place the mid calf on the edge of the power plate and I'm gonna roll left and right. Then switch legs. Using the edge of the power plate, I'm massaging my meat calf, rolling my foot outward and inward. That's it. That was a little routine with static exercise mainly, but you have worked all your body. Stay tuned for more workout on the PowerPlate app or on our social media and YouTube channel.